I will be moving again this weekend. But it seems like now I don't want to I don't want to jinx it, but it seems like I might actually be able to cross the border. I'm going to attempt it this weekend. Why do you have to move again? So first of all, where I'm staying here in Lviv, I, I'm in Lviv, I'm in Western Ukraine. The internet here is not good enough for me to be able to stream. That's the first thing. Second, I'm still in Ukraine and I no longer feel safer here in Lviv. I think that the situation can get very bad very fast and it's probably gonna be better for my peace of mind if I can leave Ukraine. Third, previously I had wanted to leave Ukraine, as I've said many times, but I couldn't because I had not been able to get the documents that I need for my pets. But yesterday I got in contact with the American Citizen Services in Poland. They gave me contact information for a lot of different vets who can help me with this, and I've been in touch with them, and they might actually be able to help me uh, expedite the process and get the last couple of things that I do need to get out because it has been quite some time since I started the process anyway. So uh, I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that I can cross the border over the weekend. I'm going to try. It's hard to say what I expect to happen, but I think there's a chance I can cross the border, go into Slovakia, stay there for like a few weeks, a month maybe, and then see what happens. Because I, I want to go home, like, I would like to go back home, but sometimes I, I wonder if that's going to be possible any time in the near future. It's crazy, like, to plan a trip to go live in another country and not know when I'm going to be able to return. It's like, I'm not afraid to go live in another country, okay? I, I've done this many times in my life and that's not the thing that bothers me or worries me. The thing is like not knowing what's gonna happen to my house, <laughs> like all my friends and loved ones that I'm leaving in Ukraine. At least I'll have my pets with me. I really don't wanna be too, too far from Ukraine because I still want to keep an eye on the situation and like my home is there. My home is in Kiev. I don't necessarily want to be like 20 hour drive away. And I also don't want to put the pets through a 20 hour drive or anything. So I'll figure that out today. It's still the best news that I've had to share with you so far. Every day. I wake up and the first thing I do is I check my phone to see if anything, what happened overnight. Like what's the most recent thing that happened overnight? And uh, here in Lviv, hold on. <laughs> here in Lviv where I've been staying, um, At first I felt safe here because a lot of other embassies have moved here, like the US Embassy, Canadian Embassy, but now they have moved into Poland. And with the invasion now that's officially started and uh, now Putin's just saying some such deranged, insane shit about Ukraine, like Ukraine isn't a real country and he thinks he's entitled to all of it really. Um, I really don't want to leave because this is my home, but I, I have to, and it, like, if, I really hope all this stuff works, I really hope all the paperwork goes through and it works to get me across the border, because then I will be able to have some kind of normalcy in my life again, because right now, it's been extremely difficult to create content it's been difficult to stream because of the terrible internet that I have here. Um, and it, unfortunately, it seems to be sort of something with Lviv. Like, I actually looked at other uh, apartments around here in Lviv, and the internet's horrible in the center. And outside the center, there's just not much available uh, because a lot of people have moved here. So it's been hard to stream. 
as you've seen yesterday, like it was pretty much a PowerPoint presentation I was streaming yesterday and uh, sitting down to, you know, write, edit, record and do a video like I normally would has just not been possible. And uh, it's it just sucks because usually after a live letter, especially one that has big news, like the one we had over the weekend, we got all this big news about the graphical update and we had the Q&A and I had normally the first thing I would do is immediately get to work on a video for that but I have not even been able to get started on it because I have been spending every free moment trying to figure out what's the next step I should take, where can I go, trying to investigate and research, like what's a good city that I could move to, can I move there, can I get all the paperwork that I need to go there, how soon can I go, do they have the internet that I need, what kind of upload speeds do I need to be able to stream, like I've just, <laughs> I don't want to just sit here and complain because I realize that I'm actually in an incredibly fortunate position to be able to work abroad. Uh, I'm very grateful to y'all for that. And I don't want to come off like I'm ungrateful and I'm just complaining. Okay. <laughs> but I'm just trying to um, kind of like let you in into what it's been like for me in the past several days. And uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So war is here now. And. I heard someone say today that they might be um, legalizing all the weapons here in Ukraine too. Like all the guns, everything legalized here so people can defend themselves. And uh, I understand that why they made that decision. I also know as someone from America and someone who lost a friend to gun violence, once you take that step, there's no going back. Like once everybody has a gun, you kind of need a gun, <laughs> like I hate to say it, but I lived in an extremely dangerous city and it's like a threshold once you've crossed over, there's no going back. I don't want to criticize the decision that they made to do that because I think in this circumstances, it's extreme circumstances, people do need to defend themselves. I think there is some wisdom in it, but I also... It, it comes at a pretty terrible cost. I worry about that. People will kill without it. That's true. That's true. I don't want to get into a debate about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, but you're right. People will find a way to kill without it. It's just... I feel like things are... What I'm trying to say by bringing that up is like... I feel like things are changing very rapidly. The Ukraine that I knew... Everything here is changing now. And I don't know when I'm going to be able to return home. <sighs> I'm just trying to prior prioritize my safety and the safety of my pets and still do my very, very best to continue work. Like continue streaming. I really would like to make a video this week, but I also have to move out again. And I made a post about it actually on YouTube today, I like a text post explaining to people who are on YouTube, maybe not watching the stream, what the situation is. And I, I just hate doing this. This is horrible. I don't think I've ever gone so long without posting a video on YouTube. I left a lot of stuff behind, you know, like the whole, <laughs> In all my videos, you see the shelf behind the Scott, you know, like, what about my uh, Ultima statue? And what about my fat cat plushie, man? What about my PlayStation? <laughs> At least it's not a PS5, it's a PS4, so. Could be worse. <laughs> the Saturn V. Things can be replaced. Life cannot. True. It's very true. <laughs> They'd probably leave the PS4, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know several people who are leaving. Uh, I have one friend, though, who has got university. And they're still not canceling the damn classes. She cannot leave because of the university. 
She has to finish school. She really wants to finish school. <laughs> and she has to keep going to class. They're not even saying like, oh, you can go do it remote. This is wild to me. Yeah, Ukraine, the, the thing is, it's specifically Ukraine that makes it difficult to leave with pets because it's considered a high risk rabies country. So there's like all this extra shit you have to do if you're getting a pet out of Ukraine. And it, that has been the thing that has really been slowing me down and getting out. I'm so sad because Ukraine seems so cool. It is so cool. I have loved living in Ukraine. It's been amazing. That's why like, I actually came to Ukraine uh, just sort of temporarily. I didn't mean to like stay, but I liked it here and I decided to stay. Lviv is not an option. I'm in Lviv now. And uh, first of all, I can't say I feel that safe here anymore now that we've had an official invasion. And Putin said all this unhinged shit about Ukraine. Um, I, I definitely don't feel as safe here as I did. There's that. And secondly, um, internet access here is really, really, really bad. Can you go to U.S. Embassy to get you out? The U.S. Embassy left. They left Ukraine. They went to Poland. And they, by the way, they already had a meeting telling us citizens here that we are SOL. They said, we're not going to evacuate you out. You should get out while there's still uh, airlines flying. And now, by the way, there's a ton of flights canceled. Yeah, Embassy already noped out. That's why I, I actually, yesterday on the stream, I apologized. I actually got really pissed off. No, I don't apologize for that. I don't, I don't apologize for getting really pissed off about this on the stream yesterday, but it's so, it's such a joke to me when people try to repeat Putin's claim that Ukraine is some kind of a US colony when the US embassy couldn't do shit for its own citizens here and has now completely noped out of the country. But yet somehow this is a US colony. That makes a whole lot of sense. It would be a lot easier for me if this was actually a US colony. But I can't talk to my embassy if I wanted to here. So I, yesterday I actually got really mad about it and I'm trying to keep a cool head. But... Uh, I honestly, I have zero tolerance right now for Russian propaganda. I'm not going to, I do not want to hear that shit. At least you aren't bored. <laughs> I mean, true. That's, that's the way to look on the bright side. Yeah, I'm not, I am not bored. That is right.